Hi, this is your host Abdul Bharti, and we are back with the predictions video series. And today we have with us Diwani Lamas, CEO of Transposit. Diwani, it's great to have you back on the show. It's great to see you again, Swapna. No. It's my pleasure to host you today. And today we are, of course, going to talk about predictions. But before I ask you to grab your crystal ball and share your predictions, let's just quickly talk about what is the company all about? Transposit is a company that uses AI to help um, operations teams, so platform engineering teams, site reliability engineering teams, and engineers uh, to better handle incidents, alerts, and uh, you know, kind of the whole process of being on call. Now it's time for you to pick your crystal ball and share your predictions with us. My first prediction is uh, I think we're going to see the emergence of much smaller uh, niche focused AI models in 2024. Uh, you know, I think right now everyone uh, is spending a lot of time using what I call mega models, right? Like the, the big trend is how big can these models get? Uh, right now, OpenAI continues to be the leader uh, in that market uh, with uh, GPT-4, uh, which is powering tools like ChatGPT. Um, but I think you're going to start seeing the emergence of much more focused application and domain specific models for lots of reasons. Um, but a couple of the biggest ones just being the uh, ability to get much more cost effectiveness out of those models, um, as well as to increase the accuracy of those predictions, which is going to be really, really critical as people start rolling out AI into production workloads uh, in the coming year. My second prediction is that uh, 2024 is the year that uh, AI will move beyond the chat interface. Uh, I think we've all used uh, different tools that are leveraging chat. Uh, you know, ChatGPT is the big one right now, but uh, lots of people have been rolling out tools, uh, Google's Bard, uh, uh, you know, and so on that are, you know, kind of sitting there and like living next to your, uh, um, your interface with much more of a chat interface. Um, however, uh, I think that what we're going to start seeing is really AI going mainstream into business workflows. So what do I mean by that? I really mean um, you're going to start uh, using tools that you don't know are necessarily leveraging AI behind the scenes to uh, help with correlation, help with data analysis, data processing. Um, but more importantly, I think you're going to just start seeing AI fitting into the applications that we use on a day-to-day -day basis um, where you don't necessarily require that back and forth of chat, but instead it's just a seamless part of the experience uh, that, that helps us use uh, our tools better. And my uh, third prediction uh, is uh, a little bit controversial. So it's a little bit controversial of a prediction, um, but right now I think a lot of people are talking about the rag stack uh, as one of the pieces that they're most excited in AI. Um, and, you know, for anyone who, who hasn't been uh, keeping up with, you know, every week by week uh, on what's going on with AI, the RAG stack is retrieval augmented generation. So what that means is um, using AI uh, to access external sources of data, knowledge bases and other things like that. However, I think that right now most of the examples of that RAG stack are uh, very uh, basic and are really primarily used for keyword uh, search. And so I think that what you're going to start seeing is that LLMs are uh, the best tool for ETL that has ever been created. And uh, you're going to start seeing much more sophisticated uh, pipelines for processing data, for adding application context, for doing classification and categorization in domain specific areas prior to ingestion, which I think is going to finally really start delivering on the promise of AI as a really fabulous cognitive engine for helping us correlate across all of our different data sources.
Excellent. Thanks for sharing those predictions. Uh, what kind of challenges you see will be there in 2024, not only just for customers, user, larger ecosystem, but maybe also for Transposit to tackle? You know, I think that the big challenges that I'm hearing from uh, our customers right now are, um, they're twofold, right? One of them is uh, there's a lot of noise in the market and uh, a lot of people talking about uh, you know, AI and how it's going to fit into their workflows. And I think that a lot of people are, are you know, kind of like, as a vendor, we're challenged to showcase how our approach is different uh, than other people's. Um, and I think for buyers, you know, the really big question is how do you decide between different uh, tools that are now all promoting AI for you to really figure out the ones that are going to drive a business advantage for you. Um, and the second really big challenge, um, I think, is, is, is an evergreen one, but one that's becoming even more important uh, in 2024, which is, you know, there's a lot of data out there that we want to leverage in our, uh, in our tooling, and AI means that we can take advantage of that data in a way that we haven't been able to in the past. However, a lot of that data is still very messy, uh, still very unstructured, hasn't necessarily been cleaned up. And so I think people are asking the question of how do they prepare um, their data, their workforces, their application stacks to really be able to take advantage of, you know, kind of all of the wonderful things that are coming down the pipe um, in the AI ecosystem. Excellent. Thank you. And what is going to be the focus of uh, Transposit? in 2024? Our big focus right now is on uh, unstructured data. Uh, so, you know, what I mean by unstructured data is human generated data. Uh, so that's to say the Slack conversations, the transcripts from, uh, from video calls and interviews, uh, you know, kind of the postmortems from incidents and really helping our customers take advantage of this very underutilized and very messy data set that they haven't really had, um, you know, observability into in the past. Um, and specifically in our world, in the context of uh, on-call alert and incident management. So, you know, kind of really, really working on taking this new data set and using the power and magic, honestly, of AI to make it powerful and usable for people so that when they are solving issues, you know, we can stop relying so much on um, institutional knowledge and really start leveraging AI for what I think it is, which is a force multiplier for our teams. Devani, thank you so much for taking time out today to share your predictions. Of course, I would love to have you back on the show next year to see, first of all, how many of these three predictions turn out to be true and, uh, and then get next set of predictions for the next year. But I really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Swapna. I'm really looking forward to it.